Kinky. DMC Devil May Cry, the reboot of the beloved Capcom franchise, offers a reimagined view of the Devil May Cry world through the view of Ninja Theory, the studio charged with the difficult task of reinvigorating the franchise while keeping old fans happy. Along with a new look, DMC offers players plenty of levels to hack and slash through, as well as a plethora of secret missions to uncover and complete. So is Devil May Cry a gift from the angels, or will you want to send it back to the fiery pits from whence it came? Let's find out. Okay, it's here. All right, see you on the other side. At the outset of Devil May Cry, we meet our hero Dante, who can be found hanging out with the demonic masses, drinking tons of booze, and banging strippers. Soon though, he's introduced through a medium named Cat to his brother Virgil. Virgil fills Dante in on his past, and yada yada yada, they set out to kill a demon named Mundus that has enslaved mankind. I'd tell you more, but I don't want to give too much away. Now that that's out of the way, I'd like to examine this game as its own entity, especially since it is a reboot of the franchise. But I will take this time out briefly to address the concerns I hear voiced most. When they announced DMC, I was among the people who preferred the look of the old Dante. Who is this emo douchebag, I asked myself when I first saw the trailer. However, upon being introduced to him, seeing his personality and progressing through the game, I can honestly say that I really like the new Dante. He's a badass, to put it plainly, and pretty funny at times as well. Ninja Theory even took some time out early on to poke fun at the old look. Bottom line, if you give the new Dante a chance, you'll learn to like him, even if you still prefer the old one. Another concern people voiced was the gameplay. I'll get into it more a bit later, but to put it plainly, the combat is just as deep and streamlined as ever. So, moving on, we enter into a brave new Devil May Cry world full of all new demonic beasts to tear apart, crazy tripped out levels, desiccated squirrel semen, wolf hair. Whoa, okay, and I guess all of that stuff. Visually, the game is amazing, and the art style of DMC is impeccable. The levels twist, contort, and break apart as Mundus tries to kill you off, you the last threat to his demonic throne. The world of Limbo is often an enemy in itself, in addition to the monsters you'll have to rip through to complete each stage. Speaking of ripping through enemies, the combat is as fun as ever before, if not more so. In Dante's arsenal by the end of the game, in addition to several guns, are a host of demon and angel weapons. Combat is varied based on enemy types, some monsters only taking damage from demon weapons while others only respond to the angelic variety, and things really get interesting when you're presented with multiple enemies that only take damage from one or the other. Generally speaking, the combat system is as deep as you want it to be, and of course you're awarded for style at the end of each level based on how complex your combos were. While you could probably make your way through the game repeating the same combos, it's infinitely more fun to chain together multiple weapons to create a visual ballet that both devastates your enemies and looks incredibly cool. Some of the combos in this game are so damn awesome that I literally yelled out loud because of how insane they were. The animations themselves are slick and stylized, much like the rest of the game. I found myself in the practice room even after I was finished with DMC just because the weapon combos look that cool. They range from the more straightforward to the absolutely absurd, combining a variety of weapons into a hail of flesh ripping metal and it is f***ing fantastic. Each weapon has different abilities that you can unlock, including your guns, and the weapons tend to chain together very naturally as you switch between them. In case you haven't gotten it yet, the combat is incredibly deep and very fun. I would go as far as to say that, once again, generally speaking, everything about the gameplay and presentation was perfect. Presentation-wise, aside from level design, DMC offers impressive graphics even for the console and surprisingly good voice acting performances. My first problem with DMC is a very minor one. In other Devil May Cry games, combat came in a varied set of locations. However, in DMC, all of the combat exists in Limbo. It seems like every demon can pull Dante into Limbo at will, and if nobody pulls you in, then you just kind of warp in voluntarily. It ends up making sense with the theme of the new game where the real world seems merely a veil for the demonic one that lies just beneath the surface, but it came off a bit silly, especially early on, that you were constantly pulled into limbo every single mission. He's driving me crazy. 
dragging you into limbo. You're being dragged into limbo. Cat, they've dragged me into limbo. You're right. It's a lot bigger here in limbo. Oh, come on. That being said, different real world settings also lead to different limbo settings. So while you're always fighting in limbo, the different levels throughout the game vary greatly. And the fact that limbo has no real rules allows for some incredibly cool level design in addition to the ability to thematically change things up, which Ninja Theory took full advantage of. Another minor issue with DMC was the boss fights. The design for the bosses was great visually, each one menacing and grotesque in their own way, and the boss fights were relatively varied. However, toward the end of the game, a lot of the same boss mechanics were reused, making the later bosses feel a bit repetitive and somewhat boring when it should have been the opposite. I had wished when I went through that the later bosses would be cooler than the earlier ones, but that was not the case. They still looked cool, but the repeated mechanics just came off as a bit lazy in an otherwise stunning game. DMC Devil May Cry will last you about 8 to 10 hours for the main story, but there are plenty of secret challenge levels to unlock, many of which you either can't or won't find on your first playthrough. In addition, you unlock harder difficulty settings each time you beat the game. The increased difficulty comes in the form of anything from remixed enemy waves to, if you're feeling really masochistic, a mode where you die in one hit. If you want to, you can spend quite a while with the new Devil May Cry. DMC is a great example of a successful franchise reboot. While some of the story may seem a bit silly at first and some of the boss fights are a little bit lackluster mechanics-wise, the gameplay and presentation makes for an incredibly fun time that you won't regret spending your money on, even if you prefer the old Dante. I give DMC Devil May Cry 9 new Dantes out of 10. For more reviews and video game shenanigans, be sure to keep it locked right here to Smosh Games.